Good day, Father Matt Williams here in my parked car. I hope you are doing well. Okay, we are on day 24 of preparation for total consecration to Jesus Christ through Mary. The more that we perfectly consecrate ourselves to Mother Mary, the more we're able to consecrate ourselves more perfectly to Jesus Christ and live out the fullness of our baptismal call. Now, you might say we got too much focus on Blessed Mother Mary, and I want you to know, Pope John Paul II, Blessed John Paul II, said that many people can misunderstand St. Louis de Montfort's teachings. He says St. Louis de Montfort's teachings and total consecration is completely Christocentric. In other words, it is completely rooted, rooted and centered in Jesus Christ. To honor Mary does takes nothing, nothing, nothing away from worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't worship Mary, Mary, we honor her. It takes nothing away from our worship of the Lord Jesus Christ and our intimacy with him. Rather, Understanding Mary, drawing close to her, allowing ourselves to be formed by her, uniting ourselves, consecrating our lives to her, in fact, helps us to become more conformed to Jesus Christ so that we can say with St. Paul, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Mary is the greatest coach you could ever have. Yet she's a mother, so it's so much greater than a coach because not only can she give you the skills and the knowledge you need, but she will form you and love on you and never leave your side. She's got your back, as, as we would say. I want to tell you something really powerful, okay? So in talking about entrusting ourselves completely in Mary, we've been talking about holy slavery and, and saying, you know, that's a hard word for us to understand in this day and age. And it is a hard word. And you've got to listen to my previous talks to understand how we've broken up and what this means today. But to say that we are consecrated to Mary is saying that we completely belong to her. We're her property. We belong completely to her. She can dispose of us however she wants, that we are completely subject to her because she is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. Her will is perfectly conformed and united with uh, with God's. And so uniting ourselves to her and giving her everything, she is able to dispose of us according to the divine providence, the divine will, God's plan for the salvation of the whole human race. He has entrusted this in a very special way to his blessed mother Mary. Now, let's understand something. What was the way by which God chose to come to humanity? How did Jesus Christ, the eternal son of God, how did he come to humanity? He chose the best road, the best path, the best way, the most perfect way. And what was that way? Through Mary. God the Son, the eternal Son of God, the eternal Logos, comes to humanity through the womb and the person of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Holy Spirit overshadows her. She's the spouse of the Holy Spirit. The, G the eternal Word is conceived in her womb. He takes his flesh from Mary. Jesus Christ is true God and true man, Son of God, Son of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He takes on his flesh from Our Lady. He was formed in her womb for nine months. He completely and utterly depended upon the Blessed Virgin Mary to form him and to raise him in, in those early years, to feed him and St. Joseph as well as the foster father of Jesus, to feed him and care for him, help him grow up, help him understand what it means to be a man and to teach him the scriptures as his humanity was formed and as he grew into who he is in our, as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God. Okay, in his humanity. Now, with that being said, St. Louis' whole point is saying, if Jesus Christ comes to us through Mary, that was the path, the road, the perfect way by which he comes to us through Mary, then because that path has been laid out for us, that that is the best path for us to come to God. We follow that same road. Just as Jesus, excuse me, the eternal Son of God becomes incarnate in the womb of the Blessed Mother and comes to the whole world through her womb, Son of God, Son of Mary. So now the Son of God wants us to return to Him through the person of the Blessed Mother Mary, to be formed by her, to be mothered by her, to be coached by her, to entrust everything to her as she brings us beautiful children to her Son and to the Lord. We return to the Lord by the same path He came to us. Do you understand? So why St. Louis says that this way is the best way, it's the most perfect way, it's the simplest way, it's the easiest way, it's the shortest way, it's the best way. Why? Because it's the way that Jesus comes to us. It's the way that he came to us. 
So he wants us to come back to him through that way. Now I want to share a very profound story. We are talking about earlier how we entrust Mary to Mary everything. Our, the good works that we do, we entrust to her our prayers, our property, everything, our, everything, our merits, everything. We give it to her for her to dispose of according to God's will and what's best. And we never know how she can take care of things, even things that we don't even know about. How she, because she knows what's important to us, how she can apply them accordingly. So I want to tell you something. It's a sad story, but it's a true story, and it's really, it's very real. One of my high school friends texted me the other night and said to me that one of our classmates committed suicide. I'm heartbroken by that. Please pray for this this man, okay? He committed suicide. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to offer mass for him. I really want to pray for him. And in, in my, my heart goes out to his family and we want to pray for, the, for this man and for his soul and for his family. And then I got this insight last night. This insight hits me. Oh my gosh, the marrying consecration. All the prayers that we offer to, Mar to Jesus through Mary, she knew that this man when that, in that hour of pain when he took his life, she knew she was there. And she was able to apply the prayers there. Certainly we know this man took his life. But at that moment when he appears before the judgment seat of Christ, I believe that our prayers, that my prayers, because of my connection with him, go there. They go there. Because Mother Mary knew. Mother Mary knew when I was offering those prayers, she knew a son of God that needed help. And she's able to apply those prayers to help him at that hour when he appeared before the judgment seat of Christ. I believe that with all my heart. I believe that with all my heart. I believe that with all my heart. I never could have known a man was struggling like that. Now certainly we'd say, my gosh, have mercy. It's a tragedy that he committed suicide. And we pray for him. We have to pray for him. But I also do believe that Blessed Mother Mary took all those prayers and applied them in a way that was needed most. And we pray for his family. So at any rate, as we continue on, like we draw closer to Mother Mary knowing that this is the way that Jesus came to us and it's the way that he chooses for us to come to him. God bless you. Please pray for him. Pray for me. I'll keep you in my prayers. Until next time, have a good day.